In this video, I'm going to show you how to now cut out your cardboard shapes. You can check out a cardboard knife and you can also use scissors. I actually alternate between the two depending on what I'm cutting out. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to start with these shapes down here. They're pretty simple and I could use scissors, but I'm actually find for a straight line that the cardboard knife works pretty well. And so how it works is I'm just gonna pick that up. I'm going to start slowly, just sawing kind of back and forth. And then I can move a little bit faster, taking my time and I'm watching this edge of the blade and making sure it stays lined up with my cardboard and the line that I drew. So at this point, talking can be distracting when trying to cut out shapes and you may find it hard to cut things out nicely. And if I make nice slow cuts, that comes out and you can see it's nice and smooth and it's not torn and that's what we're looking for. One thing I forgot to mention is you'll actually also notice that I'm on a green cutting mat. So always when we're cutting, we want to have a green cutting mat protecting our tables. We don't want to scratch our tables. Okay. So back to cutting. And now actually I'm going to find that using scissors to cut these smaller pieces out works. So you can see throughout the video, I actually kind of just alternate between the tools. You'll just have to kind of see for yourself what feels like they are going to be the easiest to use. Right. <clears throat> and some shapes actually will cut around, cut out, and that gives me a smaller, easier piece to work with. Again, for this shape, I think scissors work pretty well. It's just short, straight lines. Right. So again, still taking my time. Right, so I think you kind of get it. Uh, let's switch this over now. I'm gonna switch to time-lapse and so you can watch things get cut much faster. So there we have all of our shapes cut out, nice and neat and ready for gluing. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about how we now go from our flat 2D drawing and take all these pieces and make a three-dimensional sculpture.